What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at how to correct your log footage in just four simple steps. Now whenever we're using this method, it doesn't matter what camera you're using, what picture profile you're using, this technique is gonna work for any flat or log footage. And no, this technique does not require any LUTs, however, I do recommend working in DaVinci Resolve, but if you're using Premiere Pro or Final Cut, you can still apply the same techniques and end up with great results. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So we're gonna be going through this entire process in just four simple steps. Our first step is gonna be exposure. We wanna balance the image on the waveform. Then we're gonna add saturation Duration, and then we're gonna add contrast. And then in step four, we're gonna balance the entire image. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be using my control surface. I'm gonna be using just my mouse and keyboard so you guys can follow along on screen. So my first step is always exposure. And I can see the image is just sitting a little bit below the center line of our exposure here. So we're gonna pull this up and right about there looks good. And then the second step, I like to add a little bit of saturation right off the bat because sometimes a desaturated image can look like it has less contrast than it actually does. So now we'll go into step three, which is adding our contrast. And we want to pull this up just about as far as we can go without crushing or losing any information in our shadows or highlights. And then we'll use pivot to modify where that center point of the contrast is. So here our shadows are looking good. It kind of brings a lot more detail there, but we're starting to really flatten out our highlights. So I'll go into our second tab here and then pull our highlights down. And that's going to recover a lot there. And then we'll go into our gain, pull this back up some gamma. Let's see where this should sit. Right about there looks good. And then our lift, we can pull it down just slightly. And then we'll add just a little bit more saturation. And that's gonna make it much easier to see and identify any errors we need to balance out in the next node. So now we're hopping into node two and we're going on to our last step, which is balancing the image. Now, if we were gonna be making any major changes to the temperature and tint, I would like to do that in the first node because it's gonna make it much cleaner moving on. So the first problem I see here is that our shadows, the blue channel is sitting really low and that's making it look kind of brownish. So we're gonna go into our lift and we're gonna pull that towards blue just slightly. And then we're gonna go into our gamma and keep an eye on the skin tones here. And we're just gonna pull it towards orange and kind of balance out what we just did in the shadows. And then our gain, I mean, honestly, this guy doesn't look bad at all. I don't wanna to do too much there. And then we can actually do a little bit more exposure adjustments. We can pull up on our gamma and then down on our lift. And I gotta say, I think that looks pretty dang good. So let's see what we just did with this node right here. It was very subtle, but it really helped the image feel more alive and natural. If you wanted to go ahead and start building a look for your project, you would do it after this point, because what you want to do throughout an entire project is build your grade around a balanced image. This is gonna save you tons of time because if you wanted to copy your grade from one clip to the next, you don't have to worry about balancing it through every node. You only have to worry about your first two nodes. And then for the most part, once you balance it in those first two nodes, the rest of the look is gonna kind of fall into place. So just like that in only two nodes, we have properly corrected and balanced our log image. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something if you did please be sure to send this video to all your editing friends and don't forget to follow me on instagram to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis so with that i will see you guys in the next one